right, partner. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? How's it been going so far? Okay, yeah, this is pretty sick. Not bad. Okay, uh, ready to go. That's not a good look, the whole next time on um, thing. That, that made it look like a show, but uh, look at it this way. Huh? I, I, I love you, right? <laughs> I love you. I just love you. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack bro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You could fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. date with your sad sack flimborg boy toy fuck off gene like you've even never been on a date hey don't even start sister i know a lot about dates i fuck more aliens than your brain could comprehend and even i don't want to touch your boyfriend I'm so sick of hearing about this guy yeah right my boyfriend is so fucking hot though right Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here while you're off having fun doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look. We've spent all this time living together. I... I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. And who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweed to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Well, geez. I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister, and I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow. Yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding. She's wrong, and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to 
Get started on those. Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. I just remember, like, we're siblings, right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Jean's a piece of shit. Oh, cool. You got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Be rude. My name is Gus. Not that it matters to you. I'm okay. Sorry we roped you into another argument. I want you to meet Tweed, by the way. I really think you'd like him. He's really nice to me, and, well, he's helping me feel a little more normal, even though his body doesn't make any fucking sense to me, and he keeps trying to take me to restaurants that don't serve anything edible to humans, but, no, oh, he's really sweet. So don't worry about me. You can focus on killing the space mafia or whatever. Uh, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Gene, baby. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. We're a team of guns. You really think we need more firepower? Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. You found another Gatlian? That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer, a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. So, question is, how do we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Chill out, Gene. We appreciate you, man, and we'll handle this. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Oh, a detective mode. Couldn't we have used this earlier? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? That's right. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? I guess I should have figured this thing would be useless. I'm sorry, can we ask you some questions? Do you know a Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, Misudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches, and yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Hey there, Slick. Think you can help us find our Dr. Giblets? Slick? What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off. We're here. We're horny. Quit the, the drug guys. No, I don't have 
any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Hey, uh, mind if we borrow you for a moment? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. You missed me, didn't ya? What's the plan? Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great. He's a good drummer. And I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician. I think it would, he, trust me, it'd be worth your time. You got it, bud. If we see one, we'll hook you up. Hey, sorry. Yeah, no, he can't talk. He just sort of makes that noise. Damn, sorry to hear that. Literally. Decisions or what, stupid? I'm gonna miss that. See you soon, I hope. Oh, are you still looking? Why is this taking so long? Thanks for choosing Mr. Keith for all your nice fun. My God, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? Yeah, not like we need it. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not going to let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> not bad. Let's get nasty. Come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. All right, Blordo. We need the hookup on Dr. Giblets. Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? You got a problem with us asking for Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, 
That piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Ah, look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. See? Was that so fucking hard? You know, we had to talk to a bunch of losers just to get you to open up. Whoa, great sleuthing, detective. That was an S rank interrogation. Look, I told you what I know. Now leave me out of it. I don't want any part of it. Good day to you, food customer. Yo, bounty hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Time's up, motherfuckers. Oh, look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into oh, the dirty you. old slum. Just because like high on life is doing another big midnight hey, lunch. What's up, best friend? The store's new, too. That crowd That's gentrification for you. you. Head right I know it sounds through. like I'm being critical, Shit, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. Had you have you ever eaten your own poop? Because you know it, it gets. Well, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right, we're looking for this new high on life store. This should be too hard. Oh yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Uh, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. Woohoo! Hey. Yes! <laughs> Put your hands up! Put your hands up when you slide down the power slide! Stick your nose where where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone! Get him! Oh, not today.
Sweezy's gonna fuck you up. Like yeah, well, I guess they packed up their shit and went home. Ditch gets prepped and ready to go. A classic. Oh, now it's hip. Oh, now it's hip to live down here in the sludge, huh? Don't forget, I can shoot this.
hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Thank God they opened this new high on life store. I've been counting down the days. I'm a big Hyperbong fan. I love buying Hyperbongs. I've got 20 of them already, and I'm gonna buy 20 more. Hi, Trust me. Life store number 7923, your local Hyperbong. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. What, 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 what are you talking about? It's the same mystery from earlier. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. We fucking know. We know. We know this. We know this. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, High on Life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? These are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures, and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical. It's weird. I don't know. I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But you are saying you know him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit. Not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your Hyperbong? Oh, uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek. Uh, I can be a personal uh, high on life uh, pro professional today. Um, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm I'm new here. 
Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbon 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened. So uh, I only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because like I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, well, it was a bad idea for me, probably. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Look, guys, we've had enough people hassle us today, and we're over it. Can you just fuck off? You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. Who the hell are those guys? <laughs> Holy shit, looks like someone got trampled to death. Turned them into a fruit roll-up. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Now, I want to toss out a shady idea here. We can use that dead guy's mag boots to climb out of here. Thank you. 
welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, great. You fuckers again. Don't worry. They're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblets. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his two little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh, shit, yeah. Let's go see what Clug's been up to. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Oh, enough pleasantries. Let's keep this moving. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're gonna blast him to pieces with or without you, but we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Got it. That's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa. Even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. Fuck yeah, let's You're go doing kill Dr. Giblet. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. Oh. Honestly, gotta hand it to Clug. He showed us where Giblets is. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. How'd it go? Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. And broke his crown. And Bill came tumbling after, carrying two men up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down, he broke his crown, and Bill came tumbling after. <laughs>
slide. Look at you. Oh, you need my help, huh? Sweetie's gonna fuck you Uh, okay, good. Rest in peace, fucko. Back to the grind. Let's do this shit. Ha. All right, so this is Dr. Giblet's base. Then where is he at? Where's Dr. Giblets? Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Fine, if we have to. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy, uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments, I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go! Surprise! Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. There's gotta be an off switch for this guy somewhere, or um. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this.
These are supposed to be old Hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. So go, go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Ooh, boy. Did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Is that the Gatling we're looking for? They look a little busted to me. Aha! So that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatling to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of, did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatling for ourselves. You think that's going to happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait a minute, so you had us do all that shit for nothing? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. That's Dr. Giblets, right? Pretty anticlimactic. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Oh, no, 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 no! Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come, and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. It's never that easy, is it?
he thinks it was Krubus who did it. Jake, Look at these messages. This guy has messages out the ass. Wow, he recorded so many, didn't he? Krubus, Krubus, Krubus. Always complaining about being the lowest one on the G3 ladder. You thought you could kill me and take my spot at the top, didn't you? Well, think again. Well, you did kill me, actually, but...
Oh, Forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow, okay. Good, 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 good work. Uh, I think we can get back out through the trap door now. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians, but now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, is, is he even alive? Uh, l l you know what? L l let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. All that damn time. Oh, you want me out again, do you? How's it going? You there, bounty hunter. Armantuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are. Yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Keep talking, <laughs> shithead. Bounty hunter. I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. Fuck you. I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. 
the rod. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Like that was supposed to face us? I just wanted to say, you know, that today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye! Great, who cares? See ya! Found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over, let's bow wow. And Jill can hold me after. At night, when the mask is off, I look at my Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit. That's great. I I I I don't know about that. I mean, he he's, he's not really functional. I, I don't I don't I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay. Th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if it can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Hey, uh... I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Friendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig. You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Oh, Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Yeah, no shit! I'm pathetic! That's my whole deal. I'm homeless and legless and probably riddled with mental illnesses, which I'd know for sure if I didn't think therapy was a fake idea. You don't need to rub it in. I'll rub it in all I want. You're like 80 years old. You can't take a little shit-talking from a teenage girl? Jesus, I'm not 80. I'm 230. And that's really young for my species. I just don't want your creep boyfriend to steal my couch.
You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned. You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Hell yeah. That's the right call. Tweeg's a creep. You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. To, <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. At night, when the mask is off, I look at my I may make the world think I'm 